Hey friends, Ash here with Ten Cents, back with my wife Chelsea again. She's right there. Uh, today's one of those unboxing, haul, first impression videos, whatever you want to call it. We've got five fragrances here. One of them is actually just a sample, so we're just going to look at that for a couple of seconds. But four actual packaged fragrances, and some of these are heavy hitters. I wanted Chelsea to join me today. That way you can get two opinions. One male, one female. Right. So the fragrances we're taking a look at today are Club de Nuit Intense Man, but this is the perfume oil. This is not the normal Club de Nuit Intense Man that pretty much all of you are going to be familiar with, so I'm interested in how this one smells. Our Moth Bucephalus 11. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. That's kind of a funky name. Bucephalus. But yeah, Bucephalus 11. From what I hear, this is their newest Aventus clone. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is supposed to be their newest Aventus clone. Uh, we'll test it out. So this is going to be in the running, I guess, with Club de Nuit Intense Man. Since that's also our moth, that's their big one. We also have Mugler Cologne Fly Away. This is one of the newer Mugler Colognes. There are five now. There used to be just the green one, which is the one that you know about, but there mm -hmm. are four others now. And then last but not least, Hugo Reversed. This is also a tester. See, I think I'm most excited about the Mugler, and I think I am least excited about Hugo. So let's go ahead and crack into these and jump into this. First off is this one, Ajmal Mystery. It was just sent as a sample, so I guess we'll just try it really quickly and see what we think about it. There it is, check that out, Ajmal Mystery. So I know basically nothing about this fragrance other than it cost about $20 on FragranceNet because I looked up the price. So according to this little pamphlet, the top is fresh, citrus, spicy, mm -hmm. the heart is floral, and the base is woody, musky, ambery. So they're not actually giving you notes there, they're just giving a general description of how it should smell. See, I'm not really picking up any spiciness. No, this is like fresh citrus, musky, generic yeah. body wash I kind can't. of stuff. I'm not smelling any spice. It's clean, it's fresh, and it's generic. Yeah, it's basic. I mean, maybe the spice comes in in the mid. I don't know, but off the top, I can't smell any spices whatsoever. It's just exactly what you said. Yeah, I mean, it smells nice, but it smells nice in like a very generic kind of way. Oh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate having it or smelling it, but I mean, it's just. Yeah, it's pleasant. I mean, it's just one of those where it is what it is. I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, that's the best smelling thing I've ever had yeah. before. Yeah, it, it's pleasant, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's okay. Yeah. For 20 bucks though, not too bad. Like if you want a, a fresh kind of summery springtime type fragrance, something again, a little bit shower gel, kind of like fresh citrus, basic musky woody stuff. I just kind of word saladed that, but that's what it smells like. All right, I'm gonna let you pick which one we open first from the actual fragrances, so you pick. Well, then I'm going to go with the Mugler. Okay. It's my pick. Mugler first. This is a tester box, so I'm not gonna show you the tester box, it's just your plain white generic tester, who cares? And here it is, Mugler Cologne Fly Away. So here's a quick look at the bottle for you guys, your typical Mugler Cologne bottle style, only this one has kind of an orange coloration to the fragrance. Chelsea wants to spray this one first, so I guess here you go. Mmm. Kind of smells um, off the top like orange rinds. Actually, a grapefruit, I think. Okay, yeah, grapefruit rinds, but not like actual. Yeah, it's grapefruit. Yeah. yeah. I really like that. You know, that has what Mugler calls a C note, a mystery C note. You know what that's supposed to be? No. Cannabis, apparently. Oh, okay, interesting. At least according to what I've read. So it's supposed to be that kind of, I guess, underneath that grapefruit. God. I was excited for this, and it is, I mean, for me, it's living up to my yeah. my excitement. You really like it? Yeah, yeah. I love it. But I'm, I'm a huge fan of things with like pineapple notes or things with grapefruit notes. You're never gonna. Like those fresh, yes. fruity notes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's gonna be a really solid summertime fragrance. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I actually like that because it's, it's almost a little more effervescent mm -hmm. with the citrus than you'll typically get. Um, it comes off even a little more realistic because like a lot of times with citrus it gets like sugary sweet or whatever But this one's really well done. I'm excited to see um, What the dry down would smell like 
Well then keep this kind of off to the side and you can come back to it. That way as it changes yeah. a little bit. That way it doesn't get mixed up with the other stuff. I can tell you first impressions though, it's really nice smelling. Yeah, my first impression would be an A plus, absolutely. Yeah, you really like it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one man or woman could wear. A oh, man yeah. or a woman. I sounded like a caveman. <laughs> man couldn't wear. But yeah, I think men or women could wear that. I would absolutely wear that, hands yeah, down. Yeah, easily. I, I mean, like. unless the dry down is just like some crazy masculine type of dry down. Yeah, I, I don't would. think it will be, no. Yeah, the opening though is, I would. That's super pleasant, yeah. yeah. Especially if you're a fan of citrus. The C note, cannabis, whatever, I don't know that I've picked that up, but I'm not. Yeah, maybe it'll maybe it'll come into play like a little bit towards the mid to. Maybe it's like that touch of green that's mm -hmm. underneath the uh, the grapefruit. Cause like there's a little, like a hint of greenery in there. Yeah, absolutely. It smells really nice. That's super pleasant. It's gonna be hard for the other ones to impress me as much as that one. Yeah, it smells good. Uh, you can pick the next one too. No, I picked. I'll let you pick the next one. I'll open up this weird Club de Nuit Intense Man French perfume oil. I will say that's probably what I would have picked. Is it? Yeah. So it kind of goes without saying that Club de Nuit Intense Man is the most popular Armagh fragrance and probably the most popular Aventus clone in terms of how much is sold because it's so affordable and it gets hyped a lot. So this is their concentrated luxury French perfume oil version of Club de Nuit Intense Man. Is that like a little um, rhinestone? It's like a, a fake one, yeah. Yeah. So here's a quick look at the box. If you're familiar with Club de Nuit Intense Man, it's gonna look pretty familiar to you. It's got that same kind of crystal up there at the top that you'll find on the OG. On the back of the box, there's some ingredient information, and then the batch code is actually right here on the side of the box. So this one was made in September of 2018, so a little over a year old. And then on the bottom of the box, you can see the little Armoff symbol, and you actually pull it up like this, and then the bottle sits right in here, and it also says Club de Nuit Intense Man across the side. And here is the bottle's so eatable. The bottle, yeah. 20 milliliters. It's so eatable and cute. And here is a look at the bottle. Obviously, a little bit different looking than your typical Club de Nuit Intense Man bottle. And there's a good look at the bottom of the bottle for you. Now we have to figure out how we want to go about doing a first impression here because this is not a spray bottle. This is. Oh, wow. Quality, my friends. Quality. Okay, so. Uh, a little issue with the quality, the the little part that's supposed to be the neck of the bottle, when I went to unscrew it, as you can see here, just the whole thing comes off, which it's not really supposed to do that. It's supposed to do it like this. So hopefully you can see that. This whole silver part right here, where the screw is and the neck of the bottle is, that whole thing just comes right off and it's not supposed to. So you kind of have to pinch it down with your thumb and your finger and then unscrew it if you want it to come off the way that it's actually supposed to. So that's not great. Um, here's some for you and here's some for me. Okay, so it's not gonna be as diffusive as uh, a normal fragrance would be. Like it's not gonna hop off your skin as strongly because it's a perfume oil, but it should hypothetically last for a long time. I smell some like lemon or something in there. Yeah, so Club de Nuit Intense Man has a lemony opening. Uh, instead of being pineapple-y, it's more lemon. The original Club de Nuit Intense Man, the one that's in the black bottle, you know, you, mm -hmm. you had it in yours. The opening there can be a little harsh, a little sharp. It doesn't smell as nice as real Aventus or, you know, pineapple vintage intense or something like that that has a really bright opening can come across, like I said, a little sharp, a little funky for some people. I don't know if it's like the oil or something else in it, but it really, to me, doesn't smell like Aventus. So I don't, again, I don't know if it's the oil base that's making it smell a little different to me or what. Personally, I do get the Aventus vibe, but it smells like cleaner. Mm -hmm. Like the, the lemon from this little perfume oil, it smells nicer, it smells cleaner than the, uh, the opening of Club de Nuit Intense Man, you know, your typical mm -hmm. spray. Because that one, like I said, can be a little iffy for some people. Here though, it smells pretty nice. Oh yeah, I really like the fragrance. Just for me, I'm not getting much of the Aventus vibes. Yeah, it's, it's more lemony to me. Uh, I do get a little bit of that birch type note where it's supposed to be smoky like a smoky woody note. 
but it's kind of underneath the lemon and it's not super strong. I do really like the way it makes your skin feel. You're gonna use that as like a lotion? Yeah. <laughs> the perfume oil and just rub it all over yourself? Yeah, sure. So to you, not super Aventus-y, Aventus-like. To me, I definitely get the Aventus similarity. Uh, it is though basically like a lemony Club de Nuit Intense Man, like mm -hmm. a cleaner Club de Nuit Intense Man is it's, what it smells like. And it smells good. I think for a lot of guys, probably not gonna be something that they overly wanna mess with just because of how you have to put it on. It's not as easy as, you know, something like this where you just grab it and go pop, pop, and then you're out the door, something like that. See, and I think for women, I would totally you would rather have something like that? Not necessarily rather, but I would be okay with it just as much as I'd be okay with a, with a spray atomizer. I think that that actually smells like it's a little higher quality. Mm -hmm. Like it comes off higher quality to me. Uh, it's not as loud though, not as much projection, at least initially here off my skin. And especially Club de Nuit Intense Man, when you spray that on, it's really loud initially. It's got a lot of umph, a lot of pop, and this sits a little softer to your skin, which could actually be a positive if you're after that kind of smell with a higher quality and you don't want it to be as loud, but you still want it to last, something mm -hmm. like that could work out. So this wasn't at all my plan originally, but the first impressions video I did with Chelsea ran really, really, really long. I'm talking 48 minutes long. I chopped it down, but it was still too long to put as just one video. So unfortunately, that means this is part one, which covered this one, Mugler Fly Away, and this one, Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man, perfume oil edition. Part two of this video is gonna be out the day after Halloween, and that's going to cover this one, Bucephalus number 11 and Hugo Reversed. And in that part two, we also talk a little bit more about these two fragrances, Fly Away and Club de Nuit Intense Man perfume oil. I really hate to break this video up into two different parts, but it would run about 25 minutes long, which is really just too long for first impressions. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Part two, coming the day after Halloween, November 1st. Chelsea and I really just got carried away talking about these fragrances and it ran way longer than I thought it did. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Halloween. See you guys.